Prepare yourselves for an extraordinary journey as we unveil the hidden secrets of a living legend that holds the title for being the world's largest lizard. Over the next few minutes, we'll unravel 21 facts that will challenge your understanding of the natural world, from their colossal size, venomous bites, and hunting techniques, to the unexplored territories they call home. Every revelation will be sure to amaze you, so sit tight. Here's the Komodo Dragon. Komodo Dragons have a robust and muscular build, with strong limbs and a long tail. Their heads are large and powerful, equipped with sharp, serrated teeth. The tail of a Komodo Dragon is prehensile and contributes to their overall agility. The Komodo Dragon holds the title of the world's largest lizard, and adult individuals can reach lengths exceeding 10 feet or 3 meters, and weigh between 150 to 300 pounds, or 68 to 136 kilograms. This impressive size allows them to dominate their ecosystem as apex predators. These lizards are a great example of island gigantism. This term refers to the phenomenon where certain species on islands evolve to be much larger than their mainland counterparts. Komodo dragons exemplify this, likely due to the absence of large terrestrial predators on their islands. They have a carnivorous lifestyle and while large ungulates form a significant part of their diet, Komodo dragons are opportunistic feeders and consume a variety of prey, including birds, smaller reptiles, and sometimes their own species. Komodo dragons often employ an ambush strategy when hunting. They lie in wait near water sources, where prey is likely to gather, and can sprint at surprising speeds up to 13 miles per hour or 20 kilometers per hour when pursuing their target. They have a Jacobson's organ, a pit on the roof of their mouth that analyzes the information from the tongue and signals the direction of potential prey. The Jacobson's organ also enables Komodo dragons to detect infrared radiation radiation emitted by warm-blooded prey. This sensory adaptation aids in hunting and locating potential meals. They have a long, yellow, deeply forked tongue. Like other monitor lizards, Komodo dragons use their forked tongues to collect scent particles from the air. It then moves the forked tip of its tongue to the roof of its mouth, where it makes contact with the Jacobson's organs. This adaptation aids in locating prey and navigating their environment. Interestingly, they have also been seen using the forked tongue to stimulate females by chin rubbing and flicking the tongue to the head and shoulders before for mating. Komodo dragons can engage in a threat display that includes hissing, standing on their hind legs, and puffing out their throats. This behavior is used to intimidate rivals or potential threats. They tend to engage in combat, especially during the mating season or territorial disputes. Interestingly, they use their hind limbs to push against each other, showcasing their powerful leg muscles. Recent studies indicate that Komodo dragons have venom glands, and their bites can be venomous. The venom glands are loaded with toxins that lower blood pressure, disrupt blood clotting, cause massive bleeding, and induce shock, aiding in subduing prey. They kill with a grip, rip, and drip tactic. They bite down with serrated teeth and pull back with powerful neck muscles, resulting in huge, gaping wounds. The venom then quickens the loss of blood and sends the prey into shock. When a Komodo dragon opens its mouth, you see just the gums. The teeth are buried beneath thick, fleshy gums that completely obscure the teeth, giving this carnivorous creature the appearance of a toothless lizard, but they're far from being toothless. Komodo dragons possess 60 serrated, shark-like teeth. This is the highest number of teeth a reptile can have, and they also have a high rate of tooth replacement, with new sharp serrated teeth constantly growing to replace worn or lost ones. This ensures their ability to efficiently capture and consume prey throughout their lives. Their saliva is frequently blood-tinged because its teeth are almost completely covered by gingival tissue that gets naturally lacerated during feeding. Their gums are so thick that when they bite, they often pierce their gums with their own teeth. They are prolific swallowers. Unlike other large predators, Komodo dragons don't use their fearsome jaws to crush. In fact, they have lightly built jaws and skulls that aren't designed to deliver a whopping bite force. The dragon's skull, bones, and neck muscles are specially adapted to work smarter, not harder. Their unique jaws and sharp serrated teeth allow them to take down relatively large prey, tearing through their flesh and consuming chunks larger than their heads. The lower jaw of a Komodo dragon is not fused and it expands to swallow large prey whole. This flexibility in jaw structure is complemented by their highly elastic stomachs, allowing them to consume up to 80% of their own body weight in one sitting. The gastric acids in the stomach of Komodo dragons are so potent that they can digest large chunks of meat, including tough tissues and even bones very efficiently, extracting more nutrients from their prey and leaving very little waste behind. After they digest, they will regurgitate what is known as a gastric pellet. A gastric pellet contains horns, hair, teeth, and other bits of prey that can't be digested. Komodo dragons not always hunt for their meals. Instead, they eat a lot of carrion. Their noses can detect a carcass as far as six miles away. Unfortunately for humans living among them, it means they are a threat to recently buried people. Because of this, the people of Komodo have stopped burying their dead in sandy ground and exclusively bury in clay soil, and they'll often add a pile of rocks on top of the burial for good measure. Despite their robust build, Komodo 
Komodo dragons are proficient swimmers. This ability facilitates inter-island travel and is utilized for hunting in aquatic environments. They are also very capable climbers. They can ascend trees to sunbathe, escape threats, or even raid bird nests for eggs. Komodo dragons have a robust immune system, allowing them to withstand bites from other dragons, even if the bitten area becomes infected. This resilience helps in surviving injuries sustained during territorial disputes. While not completely impervious to injuries, the skin of Komodo dragons has some regenerative capabilities, and they can recover from significant wounds and injuries thanks to their strong immune system. Komodo dragon skin is covered in tough, overlapping scales that provide protection against injuries and environmental elements. These scales act as a natural armor, offering a defense against potential threats. The skin of Komodo dragons contains various sensory structures, including specialized cells that allow them to detect changes in their environment. These structures contribute to their keen sense of touch and awareness. The skin color can vary, ranging from dark gray to light brown or even greenish hues, which helps them blend into their surroundings. Their skin has a rough and somewhat bumpy texture due to the presence of scales. While the skin is tough, it is also flexible, allowing them to move with agility. This flexibility is crucial during activities such as hunting, climbing, and social interactions. Importantly, it is also water resistant, enabling them to move efficiently through various habitats, including wet and humid environments. Like other reptiles, Komodo dragons periodically shed their skin, a process known as molting, which allows them to replace old or damaged skin with new, healthier layers. Komodo dragons lack sweat glands, so they rely on behavioral adaptations for temperature regulation. The skin's ability to absorb and dissipate heat helps them manage their body temperature by basking in the sun or seeking shade. They may also open their mouths and let moisture evaporate from their mouths, helping them cool down in the hot tropical environment. Komodo dragons have a highly developed olfactory system. They use their keen sense of smell to locate prey, sense the presence of other dragons and navigate their surroundings. Female Komodo dragons typically reach sexual maturity around eight years of age and they may only reproduce once every two to three years. This slow reproductive rate makes each clutch of eggs especially important. Parthenogenesis is a rare phenomenon where females can reproduce without fertilization. While documented in Komodo dragons, it is not their primary method of reproduction. This reproductive plasticity indicates that female Komodo dragons may switch between asexual and sexual reproduction, depending on the availability of a mate. This this finding has implications for the breeding of this threatened species in captivity. That is because most zoos keep only females, with males being moved between zoos for mating, but perhaps they should be kept together to avoid triggering parthenogenesis and decreasing genetic diversity. Komodo dragons lay around 30 eggs at a time and do so in the same nests they use for incubation. They use three different nest types for their eggs, hillside nests, ground nests, and mound nests built by the orange-footed scrub fowl. Females often dig decoy nest chambers to discourage predators, including male komodos and other female dragons, from disturbing existing nest sites when digging their own nests. The the orange-footed scrub fowl builds nests made of leaves and debris, forming a natural incubator from the heat produced from the decomposing leaves. One study indicated that female Komodo dragons showed a marked preference for selecting mound nests over hillside and ground nests, as the decaying vegetation in the nest generates heat, contributing to the temperature regulation required for successful incubation. The eggs then take about seven to eight months to hatch. Komodo dragons are known for their intelligence, demonstrated by their ability to learn, remember and adapt to their surroundings. Some examples of this are from captivity, such as being able to count to six, anticipating evasive tactics when chasing rats, and recognizing individual caretakers. There's also play behavior observed in captive species, and they all seem to have their own personalities. In the wild, planning during the hunt is also observed, not chasing prey animals but simply going straight towards their nearest hiding place. Finding shelter from bigger predators after catching prey instead of eating it on the spot is also observed. The average lizard doesn't do this. Their memory is excellent, and they're able to remember where ideal shelters are located in their territories. Their intelligence contributes to their success as apex predators. Komodo dragons are native to specific Indonesian islands, including Komodo, Rinka, Flores, Gilimotang, and Padar. These islands provide the unique habitat necessary for their survival, and the archipelago's remote location has played a significant role in shaping the unique environment that these colossal dragons call home. These islands showcase a blend of rugged coastlines, lush forests, vast savannas, and arid grasslands. This multifaceted terrain forms a complex mosaic of environments that the dragons have expertly adapted to over countless generations. The dynamic interplay of volcanic activity, erosion, and climatic shifts has given rise to this varied landscape, shaping the dragon's existence in extraordinary ways.